This is not about Nancy Pelosi insider trading, big oil manipulating gas prices through the media. This is about taking advantage of the sorrow, compassion, emotions from the masses. We know the people in charge of this planet are as evil and sociopathic as can be. Who else would try to benefit at the expense, at the suffering of so many other people? They have to be the furthest from good as possible. Once you're reminded of this and understand that those same people control the media sources, agendas being pushed, mainstream propaganda, you start to ask a lot of questions, wonder if anything is true. And we know these scumbags are stealing our money in every which way possible, not just gas prices. You know, there's always people saying taxation is theft. But you might not have seen these stories last week. Why did BLM buy Los Angeles mansion for $5.8 million from developer friend who paid $3.1 million for it just six days earlier? Transaction raises serious questions, but founder Patrice Coolers says criticism is racist and sexist. The six-bedroom 1930s mansion in the Studio City neighborhood of Los Angeles was bought on October 21st, 2020 for $3.1 million by a BLM-linked developer. Diane Pascal, a real estate developer who worked for the consulting firm run by BLM founder Patrice Cullors and her partner, bought it from a televangelist. Six days later, on October 27th, the house was bought in cash by BLM's shell company for $5.8 million, 250% above the average price for the area. They have not explained the $2.7 million discrepancy in the price, and Pascal has not responded to DailyMail.com's request for comment. That's like me asking these scumbags who plagiarize my YouTube channel why they did it while they're selling $2 million a month of BS supplements. Of course, these people are smart enough to not get caught. So when something like this hits the mainstream media, it's their form of telling you the truth through natural law. You know, with the Russia-Ukraine nonsense, everything going on. Oh, by the way, you remember that BLM stuff? Yeah, they stole your money. <laughs> Even if there is an investigation, they certainly won't be penalized. It's all a show. And my point is, after reading that and seeing where the donation money is possibly going, you would be foolish to send any money to any charitable cause being pushed in mainstream media. You know, I mean, I'll give a homeless guy on the street five, ten bucks, but I would never donate to like an official charity. And there is always some type of new money grab every few months from these people. I don't remember them off the top of my head because my brain was fried from antihistamine medication. BLM, of course, stop Asian hate. You know, what about the Russia Ukraine war? How many charities do they have set up? How much truth is there to each of these movements? Who is handling the money and is it being pocketed? Hochul's husband to potentially benefit big from Buffalo Stadium costing New York $850 million. Bill Hochul is senior vice president and general counsel for Delaware North the major food concessionaire at the Buffalo Bills' current Highmark Stadium. Delaware North and its employees stand to potentially benefit from another 30 years of work at the new stadium, assuming the Buffalo-based firm keeps the concession. Albany Insiders pointed out Tuesday how Bill Hochul's firm benefits from the stadium deal at a time when Governor Hochul is facing criticism that the $600 million state taxpayer subsidy for the Bills' new stadium area smacks of corporate welfare. Erie County kicks in another $250 million to pay for the new stadium, with the bills kicking in the rest of the $1.4 billion costs. These degenerates really just want to rub it in your face how they stole hundreds of millions of dollars of your taxpayer money and you won't do shit about it. Obviously, a bit more conspicuous than politicians like Pelosi insider trading and their disgusting manipulation of the stock market, cryptocurrency, all that stuff. What they didn't tell you is that all of the builders, contractors for that stadium are part of the club and will be pocketing as much money as possible. Likely building a stadium with the cheapest material cost and labor they can find. Look, I don't know much about construction, but 
maybe it could be a drawn out union job to spread the money between the good old boys. And you know, there's a reason that most builders and contractors are in the club because if you actually knew material cost, labor cost, how much it would actually be to build those stadiums, if that was common knowledge between the masses, they'd be like, hold on, where the hell, what, what's going on? Where'd my money go? You guys hear that? Sounds like some type of bird. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, please check out frank com to support me through all of my businesses. You guys, uh, you guys like my bush? You know what drives me crazy? All these, you know, I'm not going to talk about New York girls and how they shave it, even though it's not, you know, let's, let's not get into that. <laughs> let's not get into that today. Uh, that's where my head's at, guys. That's where my head's at. Thanks again for joining. Thank you.